All right, folks, we are back. We're back again. And I'm talking about Jay-Z. They have extended his contract to do halftime shows. But there is still no diversity in ownership in the NFL. No ownership. There is not one team in the NFL that is solely owned by a black person in the NFL or the NBA. When it's predominantly 58, 59%. Please tell me what would you call that? A league that is known because of its black players is not ran by black ownership. Please tell me what you call that in the record labels. The majority of these rap R&B companies are not owned by black execs black owners. What do they put Jay-Z in charge of? Entertainment. See, a lot of y'all don't want to dive deeper into why Jay-Z even has this job because you call it hate. Any criticism of our own or critique is called hate. That's the reason why we don't hold anyone accountable. Whether they get into the White House Rather, we see them around the way from a local uh, standpoint, from a mayor's uh, standpoint, from a congressional standpoint. We only say just support color and that's it. No. Jay-Z was the one they brought in to the NFL to quiet the protesting. You guys thought it was just all about music. Nope, it was about influence. They needed someone that could be influential to quiet things down, to quiet the protesting down. And as he quoted, we're past kneeling. He sat with Roger Goodell and said past kneeling. And then there was a reporter, um, I think his name was Jim Trotter. I hope I'm, I'm not saying his name incorrectly. If I have, I apologize. But Jim Trotter was someone that worked in the NFL, uh, in the media space, and he was calling out Roger Goodell every day or every every time they had a, some type of press conference and said there is no black people in media. And the issue I had with that is, an issue he had with that is we got people speaking on players that come from areas or communities that they don't even understand. They don't understand or even want to understand that how they talk about that individual or how they speak about that individual can influence or how other people view a body of people. Jay-Z got his check. Jay-Z got his check. Now, Peter Yep has said that they went to Jermaine Dupree first uh, in order to get him in the mix of doing what Jay-Z does now and he turned it down, and it would make sense if they did choose him because I feel that Jermaine Dupri is more musical than a Jay-Z. Songwriter, put various groups together, artists out there, so that would have made perfect sense. Jermaine Dupri denied that they came to him, or I think he denied that Jay-Z told him not to take it, and Jay-Z ended up taking it himself. I think that's what the issue was. Nevertheless, what has changed with Jay-Z being there? There has not been any protests since he's been there. And the folks that were kneeling that were getting involved in that, they called out Jay-Z and says, of course, someone like him would say that and wouldn't be on the side of the people that were actually kneeling for the injustices that are happening in this world. Now I want to tackle people out there that say, well, why aren't you guys talking about black on black crime? Even though the very premise of that black on black crime 
has no merit because wherever you are located is a predominant race in that area, you're going to see the majority of crime being committed by the people in that community. The issue I have with that statement is why no one cares about it is you're saying from a global or national landscape. And I'd like to talk to you directly and say, just like the NFL is owned or that it has 58 to 59% black people playing in it, in the media space, it's not even, we can't even get to those numbers because it's non-black. The media is predominantly non-black. So if you're seeing these stories that are, to many of you are saying that they are sensationalizing the things that are happening to black people at the hands of non-black cops, they are the ones that are putting it out there. And honestly, they're not doing it for awareness, folks. These media companies, CNN, Fox News, various other outlets, MSNBC, Newsmax, they are only putting it out there because they know it will generate arguments. It will generate discord and that leads to ratings and ratings leads to revenue. If it bleeds, it leads. And especially if it's black and bleed, it will lead in revenue. Jay-Z has always been about his money. Always. Him and Beyonce, she's selling candles now that smells like her hair. She's smelling whiskey one week. None of her business do well because from a business standpoint, people want to have a connection and understanding of who's making the product. And Beyonce doesn't put herself out there. She has pretty much very quiet, doesn't do a lot of interviews. Everything is pretty much a publicist release statement. And that's the reason why there is no connection to her product or her brand. But her and Jay-Z are the same people in regards to anytime they pop up online, it's to sell. I won't come on there to do a live. Jay-Z won't do a live, right? He'll do interviews, but he won't do a live. It's all a sales pitch. Robert Kraft, people always want to know why is Robert Kraft in the mix? Why is Robert Kraft connected to Jay-Z? Well, Jay-Z was the one that Robert Kraft reached out to and convinced the NFL and the owners that this was the guy that was going to calm things down. Robert Kraft brought Jay-Z in the mix to quiet down the protesting. He would did not care if anything of any other community affected by any issue or concern. He would want that individual to protest, to be out there on the forefront about anything that was regarding any other community. But he knew where this could go or where it could lead and it could cost revenue. Even on his Breakfast Club interview, he said all he cares about is winning. That's high on his list. And he didn't want that to affect his win margin. So he brought Jay-Z in and Jay-Z will forever feel indebted to Robert Kraft. That's why you saw Jay-Z go to support Robert Kraft at his trial where he was at the massage right spot in Florida but a lot of y'all just thought it was just him getting a massage and didn't understand that it was a whole sting connected to human trafficking and it just got settled. He did no time and then we're not even talking about it anymore. He didn't get suspended. He didn't get fined and he didn't do any jail time. That is the incentive of being rich. Jay-Z was there at his court date. 
support him, him and Meek Mill. See, they want to hide behind the justice reform. Oh, we're 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 aligning with with Jay Z. Uh, 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 we're aligning with Meek Mill, you know, because we got to improve the justice reform. No one does anything for free. It's like these companies that we give out to the community and they give out and they donate and they do all that stuff. It's all about those folks out there in those communities to support their product or their service. All it is is a sales pitch. Jay-Z has not gone to any of Diddy's uh, court dates. He hasn't said anything public about Diddy. And the argument you always say is, well, the stuff that Diddy did was sick. Well, you were friends with Diddy. You and Beyonce were friends with Diddy. Don't want to hear nobody talk about you were just business associates. You were friends with Diddy. So you need to speak on it then. And then not say anything about it, but then decide that when you hear Piers Morgan, who I detest, say something or have somebody on the uh, your interview or your, your talk show and now you want to send a, a cease and desist well you got to talk you got to speak and it don't even matter because even you doing that now makes other people say to themselves that makes you look even more guilty but you supported Robert Kraft look it up they said that was aligned with human trafficking it wasn't a one off and he's obviously done it before because when he saw it presented to him, someone of his age who really can't do much at that age was fine and comfortable doing all those acts out there. He obviously does it in New Jersey. He obviously does it in whatever areas he visits. And the one that recommended it to him, what happened to him? If you could really see the level of human trafficking in sports from an executive standpoint, in finance, in these billionaires, you would really see what's going on. Yep, Diddy caught. They found out stuff that he was involved in. Will they also see what these guys are involved in as well? The billionaires? Or is it just to make the black person the face of something toxic? I'm not condoning anything that he did. Whatever he did, and they can find that he did it, he's going away. You don't got to worry about that. But what is Jay-Z going to say about the parties he's went to? Is he going to say that he left early at all those parties before he met Beyonce? Is he going to say he's never heard anything that Diddy, who is a braggadocious person, never bragged or said anything about the stuff that he was involved in? Is that what's going to happen or occur? This is not hating on Jay-Z. This is what you would have said to anyone else. You would have asked them who, what, when, where. You always saw that individual around a person that's convicted or, or has been accused of all these various crimes. You would have said, well, why you don't have nothing to say? Why are you quiet? Why are you doing all these casino deals? Why are you doing everything out there in the public? And people got questions of what was your involvement? He hasn't said anything. Everything he does is aligned with a money move. A money move or a money grab. He even said it on his um, album. He said, I packaged my life so I could sell it. Everything he does is to sell. See, you'll one day, years down the line, you'll see the connection between Jay-Z, Michael Rubin, and Robert Kraft, and if you really dive deep into it, 
you're going to find some stuff that you're going to really find very interesting. Jay-Z was cool with Lucian Grange. He's cool with Michael Rubin. He's cool with Robert Kraft. And that's why you can tell Jay-Z has a job because when individuals have jobs, they can't speak. When individuals have jobs, they have no liberty. But I find it very interesting that people that are wealthy have something happen in their community and they will be up front and they will sub always be behind the protesters. They'll be behind anyone that's fighting against it. But when it comes to black people and you're doing business with these same individuals, they will tell you to say nothing about what your people are going through or dealing with. I find that very interesting. A league that's 58, 59% black and nobody that is in an ownership position is black.